Citizens, it's that time. You're officially in the Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I am the Wizard, Uncle James. I would love for you to become an active citizen of the Alert Zone. And you can do that by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell, just give me notified when we drop fire content, giving a video a like, sharing. If you're 18 years of age or older and are able to be legally harmed, you should be practicing your Second Amendment rights. So, got the SD9 B chamber in 9mm safe control environment I do got a loaded mag for it I ain't even gonna play like that um before I get started I want to shout out my baby for buying me this this was a gift um she got me this out in Texas um as you guys can see state of Texas she know I love firearms so it's got the pistol grip on it you know it's like the old 25s back in the day. If you're young, you know what I'm talking about. The old chrome 25s with the hair triggers on them. Definitely a shout out to my baby, my daughter. Got me there. I wanted to talk and give my two cents about the Hannah Payne situation and about emotionalism and firearms. And people that are legally armed that make it bad for all of us that's legally armed. So it's clear. Got to for the YouTube people. So for those of you who don't know, in 2019 there was an incident, and I had to remember hearing about this, of an accident of a guy. I think he was having a medical issue, and he decided, you know, basically left the scene of an accident, and it, he was chased down by this woman. And, you know, she was on the phone with 911 and they was telling her to leave him, you know, just get his tag number and let him go. We'll catch him. She decided to chase him down. She could be here screaming obscenities at him. Uh, when she jumped out, she jumped out with her firearm basically in her hand. So she took her firearm to confront this guy for an accident she had nothing to do with. And she wound up killing him. She changed her shirt. I mean, you know, you guys can go see the whole transcripts and what have you. And yesterday, I mean, uh, this week she got convicted. And I believe it was yesterday. She got sentenced to life with parole. With the possibility of parole. She got sentenced to eight years to be served consecutive. And five years to be served consecutive. Which means she got three different terms that she's going to have to serve. Now, I'm not sure what Georgia law is about the life with parole. If after so many years she got for parole and she's granted parole, then she got to start the eight years. Then if she can get paroled on that, then she got to start the five years. So I'm saying she's going to be in there at least minimum 30 years. Um, she had no remorse or what have you. You know, she said that she was sorry. But, you know, like a lot of people, only when they go to prison, she had four and a half years to be out. But I wanted to talk about that emotionalism that people that get legally armed have. Some people, where they go out looking for trouble. They go out starting shit. Yeah. She was looking for trouble. And it cost her her freedom. It cost the man his life. It damaged his family. And it damaged her family. And... That's just the type of things that people have to think about when you're going to get out there and you want to be a vigilante. There's something that comes with vigilanteism. Here on this channel and on YouTube, those of us that's legally harmed, we don't encourage you to go out and start shit. We don't encourage you to go out looking for somebody to do something to you. We do tell you, carry everywhere you go so you can be on alert. Because, you know, a lot of public uh, massacres happen in places where they think people are not going to be armed. But I listened to the closing arguments and the sentencing part from the family, the victim impact statement. I listened to the prosecution, and the prosecution brought up something. She said, 
Not once did we ever make this about race because the man that was killed was black and the woman that killed him was white. She said, not once did we bring up race the whole time this went on. Because her crime was so egregious that it was basically an open and shut case. I mean, you know, when they, you call 911, they're telling you that you're being filmed. The call is being recorded. And she's screaming all kind of obscenities and she never got on the stand once and apologized. She never uh, listened to her attorney. It was just a bad deal all the way around. I just want to say to everybody out there, when it comes to being legally harmed, we gun told us. We legally armed. We got a right to be. But we don't go out looking for trouble. You don't ever hear me tell you guys, go out there looking for trouble. Go out there looking for somebody to start something with. Because this can be the end result of being a vigilante. You know, when you pull the trigger, you have to think about something. Even as a legally armed citizen, there's always a backlash to it. So, in my closing, let me say this. You got to get that emotionalism out of fire, your arms. You can't go around looking for a reason to shoot somebody. Um, personally, I'm going to say this. I think she thought she was going to get away with it. She pulled the old, he started the fight. I feared for my life and he pulled the trigger. But she stuck the gun in the car. She was hitting the man, trying to pull him out. Sometimes you get what you're looking for. Just like we call out the criminals, we got to call out the law-abiding citizens that go around starting stuff like this. Because you make it bad for everybody. That man lost his life over what? And even when this woman got convicted and sentenced, she didn't apologize. Now, I didn't think she should apologize because she wasn't sorry. And I say this. If you ain't sorry, don't apologize. Because that man can't come back in here. So I respect her at least enough. She had enough to stand on what she felt. I just think she cried because she thought she was going to get away with it. Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think, everybody. Till next time, stay safe, stay home, stay high.